A local family is using their pain to help save lives. Nine years ago, 18-year-old Alexandria Burgos died after being struck by a stray bullet. Today, the community united to honor her life. WGN's Jewel Hillary joins us live on the northwest side with that story. Jewel. Hi, Jackie and Taman. Alexandria Imani Burgos had recently graduated high school and had just started college when her life was cut short in 2014. Today, her family brought the community together to remember her life as well as ignite hope for the future. On Saturday afternoon, the Espira parking lot on Milwaukee Avenue turned into a haven of family friendly fun and games for children. Kids always gravitated with Alexandria. I guess they, they knew her humbleness and her beautiful heart. Tragically, 18 year old Alexandria Imani Burgos, a Von Steuben High School graduate with aspirations to become a social worker, was fatally hit by a stray bullet October 19th, 2014. By telling her story, people will know her and they won't forget her as well. Along with honoring Alexandria, her parents, Millie and Rafael Burgos, also recognized several other families who have lost a young loved one to guns. It's not only us, but it's many families that we've come together and we advocate together uh, to uh, forces that, that be to inform them our stories about our children, that they should be here. Since Alexandria's death, Rafael and Millie have worked tirelessly to advocate for better gun reform laws. They share the message that we can live in peace and we need to put the weapons down because, Lord forbid, this could be your child, this could be your brother, this could be your sister. Some recent gun reform legislation passed in Illinois include the assault weapons ban, the Firearm Industry Responsibility Act, and the ban on ghost guns. Lobbyists are now proposing legislation called Karina's Bill. It will uh, make ensure that firearms are removed promptly, immediately from a home when a domestic violence survivor has a restraining order. So that's coming up in veto session. As Rafael and Millie continue to work with community leaders to reduce violence, they recognize they can't bring Alexandria back, but they're doing everything possible to protect the next generation. A community can come together and we can embrace each other and show each other that there could be peace and that gun violence is preventable. So the family says they gather every year in a big way like this to honor Alexandria's life. Her parents say her murder has not been solved. Reporting live on the Northwest Side, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.